Today, we finally get to rebuild the pop-up camper top. My original top was all aluminum inside and outside with a wood frame and styrofoam insulation on the inside. But I decided to go with a wood frame, styrofoam insulation, and a rubber coating on the outside. The rubber coating I decided to use was the Superflex RV rubber coating from RecPro on the internet. When you get it, it comes lightly folded up and the instructions say to unfold it and unbox it as soon as possible and lay it flat to avoid creases in the rubber. So I'm building this new top from scratch. I had a few leftover rotten pieces from the original top, but I'm not using any of the pieces from the top in the rebuild. I had to take measurements from the rotten pieces and measurements from the trailer to try to figure out how to build the new top. The original top was built flat, and after a while, the flat tops will sag in. Somebody had suggested for me to build a curved top for the pop-up to help with runoff and also help fight the sag that will happen later on. I thought it was a pretty good idea. The frame starts out with half-inch plywood. I made a template out of some cardboard for the curve. That way I could trace the curve onto the wood and be consistent with all the pieces. After I cut out the half inch plywood, then I had to attach one by twos to the plywood to follow the curve. I used half inch plywood around the outside of the top and I used one by twos for the frame inside the top. So you can see all the one by two framing installed. I have a one by two down the middle both ways. I also have one by twos around the outside of the area where the vent is gonna go. But that vent area is also reinforced by cross members in case you wanted to put a rooftop air conditioner on there later. Now that the framing is all done, it's time to install the top skin. This is eighth inch utility paneling. This is real wood. This is not the masonite or any kind of composite. So this paneling is installed so that it follows the curve of the roof from the framing. With the paneling on, it's pretty flimsy. So I had to flip it over and go ahead and glue the one inch insulation in the framing so that it would stiffen up the paneling for coating later on. After the Gorilla Glue dried for the insulation, I flipped the top back over so that I could trim the top and shape it and remove all the sharp edges so it wouldn't cut the rubber membrane. After all the detail work was done, then I started installing roofing seam tape on all the seams to prevent leaks. And now it's finally time to glue the rubber membrane on the top of the pop-up. When you order this kit, you get a container of acrylic water-based adhesive for the rubber membrane. And you use a simple paint roller to spread the adhesive all over the surface that you intend to glue. When you look at this rubber membrane, you'll notice that one side is smooth and one side is rough. They want you to apply the adhesive and stick down the side that is smooth. Once the adhesive is spread out, then you roll the top up over the adhesive and you use a squeegee to move out any air bubbles or wrinkles in the top. The adhesive doesn't set that fast, so you don't need to worry about working too fast. I also added another step. I had a tile floor roller. I decided to roll the top to further compress the adhesive and make sure there were no bubbles or wrinkles. After the first half was done, I went to the second half and you will notice that I did not cut out the hole for the vent fan yet. And the top is glued on. I've still got to glue the sides on and trim it. And then we get this top installed onto the trailer. Thanks for watching. I sure hope this video helps. I've got lots more to come.